Back to throw is Wilson. Throws. Touchdown. Throws it back to Young. Young catches the ball. They might. They do score. Throws it. Touchdown. Bounces out of the pocket. Waiting, waiting. Here's the pass. Touchdown. When I came in as a freshman, Jim was the quarterback, and and you know he had set like 80 some odd records, and then Steve Young comes in and, and sets all these great, you know, these records. And and the thing is about both of them is they won the championship, they won the WAC championship, and and that's what I was nervous about more than anything, is being able to follow their footsteps, win the championship, and then the rest will take care of itself. That team in '83. I think we averaged over 500 yards total offense and almost 600. So it was going to take a lot to, to get up to that ability. And we lost a lot of great players. So I knew right off the bat that we were probably going to struggle. I've been on a lot of teams and I've coached with a lot of teams. And it was one of the times, one of the few that I've ever seen where the team captains after one of our meetings set everybody up for a prayer. And the, that brought a certain closeness to our team that I've never seen before. I mean, we just kept doing that. Where we, after our, uh, our Friday night meeting before the game on Saturday, we would get together and have a prayer. And, uh, and it kind of, uh, it just kind of brought us closer together. I threw an out to Kozlowski. And uh, as I, after I threw it, the guy came rolled up on my leg and kept rolling. My foot got caught in the ground. And, and kind of twisted it. So I tried to get back up and I couldn't. I thought, here we are, we finally made it to the biggest game in BYU history. It's early in the game, um, I've got to play. And so as, as they were carrying me off the field and everything, I was just hoping and praying that it wasn't gonna to be too serious. And uh, I asked uh, the one trainer and doctor, I said, if I go back out and play, will I be, could I injure it any more than already is injured? And they said, no. So I just said, let's tape it up and let's go. And at first they weren't gonna put me in. They wanted to see the doctors, so I just went out there. And as we were in the huddle, they kind of just all looked at me and were just like, let's go. As I dropped back in the, uh, in the, in the pocket, I felt a little bit of pressure up front, coming up the middle, so I kind of took it out to the, to the right side a little bit. And I saw a cause coming across the middle and I got it up to the height I wanted, but the zip was not where I wanted it. So it was kind of floating in the air there. But Cause, I mean, as he did all year, went up and made a great catch. And more amazingly, he actually came down in the end zone. It was like third and three. And so as I dropped back, two guys came smoking up the middle, almost unblocked. So luckily, the offensive line were able to chip them just a little bit more. I was able to step up in between them. And as I took off, out of the corner of my eye, I saw Kelly break up field like he's supposed to. And then just I just made the throw out there and you know he made a great catch and big dog pile and it was a great part of the game. When we practiced, we practiced hard and we always had every time we would scrim scrimmage against each other, it was always those scrimmages that were probably tougher games for us than the regular games were. I think you can just go down that whole roster and you have guys that just stepped up every time. Whether it was making a great play on defense, like Kyle Morrell made against Hawaii, or a big, pull, a big sack that Leon White might have made, or Jim Herman, or you know the great catches our receivers made. I mean, it was just a, just a team effort. I don't really think you can single anybody out, and I don't think anybody was, was such a big name on that team that it took away from the other players too.